it is back to school time and I tell you what I've got this beautiful planner and I just got one that was August through July it really helps me for me the year is school year and as beautiful as this is I would kind of like to put something on here uh, to really make it mine so I had a couple ideas and then what I decided was as I go through my stickers and this and that none of them are quite right none of them are just perfectly me so I came in here into the scan and cut and what do we have but some beautiful designs some flourishes and crowns and I'm as I'm looking through all these I'm thinking that Florida Lee looks just right so looking at my journal here I think I want it just under four inches whoops under not over four inches okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very random 3.91 inches okay and I am just gonna let it cut I'm gonna cut it you know I've got a couple ideas but I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to cut it out of watercolor paper and just cut and now that I have this cut out I went with watercolor paper because what I really wanted was just a completely thick heavy kind of paper I didn't want this to be anything and I've got my protective mat here I didn't want it to be anything that was going to um, say tear easily or not not be easy to adhere down so I'm just gonna put and I'm not gonna put a ton I'm just gonna put a little bit a little adhesive all around and I like this to be I'm thinking right here at the I was thinking kind of going back and forth between over here and over here um, I think I am gonna put it right about here because I want it down low okay and I'm just gonna press this down and just let it have a moment it really shouldn't take too long um, it shouldn't warp my cover or anything it's a very nice sturdy cover and once that this has dried once everything is stuck what I will do is I will put a little over the top and the reason I want to put a little over the top is when you're working on a journal cover and you'll be seeing me do several of these different kinds of journals and such of course but the reason for it is I want to seal those paper edges you do not want your paper to be unsealed if it's going to be on the front of the journal if it is will it work sure it'll work but what you run the risk of happening is something catches the edge and everything rips off when it's sealed I've never had one that I seal up like this I've never had one uh, rip apart or anything like that so then I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of heat my crafting heat tool here um, just keep making sure everybody's staying nice playing nice and the heat tool is just helping me speed things along. I'm also looking to make sure that there's no strange residue or anything anywhere from my adhesive. There shouldn't be, but I really like to make sure of that. And then it's still a little wet around the edges and that's just fine. But what I wanna do before anything else happens here is I'm gonna look around and see what kind of stamps I've got and have some stamping fun on this. Because what I'm thinking is, I'm kind of thinking a scribbly stamp? No, I think what I'm going to do here, and I was going to, or initially I was going to do um, gold, but I think white or silver or something like that would work well. And I have just some puffy paint here that I'm going to now play with a little bit, although, oh, it's a little stuck. Of course it's a little stuck. Let's see how this one's doing. Sometimes they get a little jammed up. There we go, this one's working. And I'm, you might notice, man, you're not being very careful. Nope, I'm sure not because what I intend to do is I just was kind of doing that and then I'm gonna come through here with kind of a square tipped paintbrush and just kind of rub it along. And if it kind of gets a little thicker in places a little thinner in places I'm totally gonna embrace that because I want it to I want to have kind of some I'm trying to build up a little bit of uh, texture and kind of a aged look here I'm gonna I'm gonna try to 
darken this up a little with maybe some brown or some rusty something or other. And so I want it to have, this is just going to kind of help me build a little texture on top of that paper. And now you're kind of getting the why of why did May want such a heavy cardstock? Because I want to be able to do all this stuff in quickly. I don't want it to take a long time. That's for darn sure. If I need a planner because things are so crazy here, the last thing I want is a planner that took forever to, you know, customize and decorate. Okay, and again with the heat tools, just to speed everybody along. Okay, and then I will grab an ink pad, and I am leaning towards black because I think I think it'll look nice. I'm just not sure if I have enough texture yet, um, but I'll see what happens here. And just let me just check that it's totally dry. I do not want to be trying this if it's not totally dry. I'm just going to try it on the very edge over here. Hmm. I'm going to come in here with the foam tool just so I can get a little more control. Um, I'm not trying to specifically touch any one part or not touch any one part. I just was thinking that if I had a little bit of better control here that I could make sure not to turn the whole thing one color. Oh, and I see that it's wet there. See, it's a good thing I had that foam. Otherwise, that would have been ugly. Okay, so I'll pat a little bit down there. Okay, and I like how that's looking. Now, I'm going to take a pen. And I just love that I can take a pre-done design, print it out in a minute, and I can build my whole own customized project the exact size I want. I mean, this is really, this is just way too much fun for me creatively because I can build my whole own custom project in minutes. And like in this case, I'm doing something practical because, well, it was already pretty and decorated, but now I'm customizing and I'm making this journal just a little, not journal, planner, a little bit more special, a little bit more me. And you know what? I just think that's a lot of fun. And if it's fun, you know I love to craft when it's fun. So that just kind of brings it all, all together for me here. And oh, I like that. I like that. Now the only thing I'm thinking is I want to put, and I wasn't going to originally, I was going to leave it be totally flat, but I'm going to put some buttons on there. And I'll just grab purple, of course, my signature color. Gotta love it. And, oh, I like that one. I love putting buttons on stuff. I tell you what, I cannot get enough of it. That is just a totally me thing to do. Throw some buttons on it. And I'm thinking just three. I'm thinking just three, but I am also thinking I'm going to take some purple acrylic paint. Um, just a little bit, because I like the black and what that's doing, but I feel like and the silver, but I feel like I maybe want a little something different here. And I am going to take that same silver paint. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of it out. Now we're getting wild, guys. Now we're getting somewhere. And I'm going to take that same paintbrush. And I'm just, while that purple is still wet, now I'm going to blend the two of them together and get even more layer and texture and color and all that good stuff. And I like that, I just love building layers like this on a project like this, that we can get into this funky stuff, but you guys can see it's not taking me a real long time. It's not taking, it's not gonna take, this whole project won't take me more than 15 minutes to make, it'll take me a lot longer, it'll take me hours longer to sit down and edit the video and post it to my blog and upload to YouTube. That's going to take hours longer than the actual project, which is funny if you ask me, but it's a good point about, you know, these projects, they, the projects themselves, they don't have to take a really long time at all. At all. Oh, I like how this is coming out. Okay, and then I got a little too heavy-handed there, so I just grab a piece of paper towel and don't rub. In this case, don't rub because I don't want things to go all over. In this case, I'm just going to press down and kind of blot. And this, again, there's another layer of texture for us. 
All right, guys, that's the cover of my day planner. I just need to let it dry a little, and it is ready for all kinds of adventures in the 2015-2016 school year. Now, I could put my name on here if I wanted. I just figure, no, I'm not going to. I don't want to put a name on here. I just kind of like that it's got the year, um, and it's got my pretty fleur-de-lis and buttons, and we are set to go. I hope you have liked this tutorial. For more, you can visit my blog. And, of course, stay tuned here on YouTube where I share projects regularly.